Welcome to Untold Reacts, the channel where I let untold stories be told to me. Today, we're jumping back in to some Attack on Titan, where we keep humanizing episode by episode Reiner and making him a lovable character, which is absurd if you look at the last three seasons. <laughs> But I'm here for it. I'm excited to learn more, and I hope you are too. Before we get into it, let's give a quick shout out to our lovely patrons that over here as usual. They give me the utmost love and support over on Patreon. In return, they get a month really content as well as full-length reactions where they can sync up with their own copy. So check it out if you want to. No worries. If not, I'm gonna shut up. Let's get into some Attack on Titan. All right. <laughs> Uncle Reiner. <laughs> This isn't the same guy, but he might be related to the owl. I'm pretty sure he just said Kruger, which Aaron Kruger was the owl, so... Could this be, like, this generation's owl then? Like, passed down? But why is he pretending to be sick? Alright, starting today off with confusion. Why, why am I surprised? Attack on Titan. <laughs> I love this intro. Oh shit. Final Titan. Willie. <laughs> it's crazy because I don't know which one's the Titan. It could literally be any of them. I am not. I would assume him, but I feel like it's the obvious choice. この中に。ここにはヘロス像を見に来たんだ。100年前、人間でありながら大地の悪魔を打ち破る。ああ、シェ。戦争への歩みを止めないでしょ。ソフトウェア。虫の通り、この国は対バーケの権限下にあるまで回れが選んだ。ホリシェ、ダスタチュー。俺は、エルディアもマーレも闇夜に投げ出された。その責任は対バー
この国の最高司令官、うん、それは少し違うな私はソーダリンを握ったものだ先代の誰もこれを握ろうとしなかった重すぎる今すぐに手を手を手を握握らざるを得ない時代が口はたまたまなんだガーさんのおかげですよ正直今からガビの評価を感謝したいのは俺の方だな何度も手紙のやり取りを手伝それは家族のことからで病院の生活は退屈だろうってな He's the owl though, why would he be leaving here? I still think it sounds like Aaron, but I still think it's really dumb. Because <laughs> he dies, obviously. And we're not in that time period. Like, there's so many reasons it does not make sense. But it sounds like Aaron. His name is Jaeger? I'm really confused. <laughs> ケモノのキョジンのケイショウケンオエタコテオヤクグライスケワンタイトナナゼオカシナウタガイオカケラレテワグライスケノドリオクガムダニナティトニオカイリナサイデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデ
I, I'm done using brain power on this show. It's pointless. It is goddamn pointless, and I give up. Let's fucking try to talk about this shit. I don't... I don't know. What? <laughs> It was a great episode, it was, but I even was suspicious of this being the case, but still hadn't processed it because it didn't make sense, so I didn't extend my brain power further. But no, this is Aaron. But it said- So he's going by Kruger, probably using the memories of the dad to just go by the other Aaron. Right? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so is this not an older Aaron? This is just four years later Aaron? Because I, I assume this dude was like in his 30s, like to be completely honest. So that was actually one of like the main reasons why I didn't just write out, like assume it was Aaron because the dude looks too old. So did Aaron really just grow that much in that amount of time? Like, I know he didn't like grow, but you know what I mean? Like he, he grew physically a lot. Uh, like he has a mustache, Long ass hair. He's missing a fucking leg. Dude, what? Oh my god, what? Wait, what? He's a fucking titan. Where's his leg? I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Shouldn't his leg fucking regrow if he has the power of the titans? And if it's been four years, does he only have four left? Because I think he had eight, right? Oh my god! Ah! I don't think I want to think right now. I can't. Hold up. So, why is Aaron over here just vibing on a fucking bench? Is he trying to get to Reiner and just talk to him because he understands now? Oh! <laughs> okay, that's not as crazy. If that's just however old Aaron and he happens to look like he's a lot older at his age. It's not as crazy if that's the case. Then it's just, what the fuck? Where's the leg? Why is he here? What's he doing? But if this is an older Aaron, like I initially thought, this really does not make sense. <laughs> like, I am torn at trying to figure this shit out. I, <sighs> I just gotta let, I gotta let the story be told to me. I can't try to think about it. I just gotta let it play out. And I'll understand eventually, because this show is rough. Like, as far as understanding what's going on, it is fucking rough. They literally give you this character, chill on a bench, that is your main fucking character of the goddamn anime. And I don't recognize him, I just think it sounds like him. And <laughs> What the fuck? How, how do they do that? How do they get away with that? So he was using Falco to get to Reiner to help him do what? You know, like... <sighs> I want to say he looks like he's just given up, like, let himself go, but that clearly can't be the case because he said that, uh, like, I gotta keep pushing forward or something like that, so obviously he hasn't given up, he just seems to have, like, a, uh, kind of like a paradigm shift on what's going on. This is so interesting. So he really did just have a conversation with his grandpa, too, and had no idea- well, no, he, he definitely knew. The grandpa didn't know, but he would have known Dr. Jaeger would be him. Oh my goodness. Nope. This one's too much for me. I I don't want a brain anymore. This is all I've recorded today, too. I started recording Attack on Titan. I've recorded one episode. I don't want it anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. <laughs> it is too much. <laughs> and I gotta say, like, with Gabby, I really, really liked her character. But she's kind of showing, like, her ego in this episode. They showed it in the first one. Where she's just like, uh, yeah, no one's as good as me, but it, it came off as like a quirky kind of thing. In this episode, she was kind of a dick. Like, she was kind of an asshole when it came to her ego. So, I'm, I'm a little iffy on Gabby. I really like Falco. He seems like a, a wholesome child. Like, just a really wholesome kid. I don't know. But, yeah, this is nuts. I don't know what... The, I can't think about anything but Aaron right now. We haven't seen him in four episodes, and here he's been here the whole time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. I don't know what else to say, but this was great. It's cool to see the Tiber family. I don't, I don't know what's going on with uh, Hilos, I think they called him. I don't know what's going on with that. I, they, I've heard him mentioned before. He's like the hero of the Marlians. Uh, but this is the first time I think we've we've heard that the, the devil or whatever deal that they think Ymir made with whoever, that thing that she made the deal with is now dead and it was killed by Hilos in the war. I think I understand that. But, so it was real and they killed it? Obviously it has to be real because the Titans exist, but was how true is that story then? If <laughs> I don't know. I don't know.
Yep, I'm calling it. I, I give up. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm. I'm I, it. Nope. Nope. Not today, Satan.